Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna take a look at this brand new trailer, new to me, that we picked up up in Kansas um, about a week ago. And we've had it here in the yard, just kind of cleaning up the kayak and everything that came with it, and uh, trying to get us a rack built for the PA on top. But let's go ahead and do a quick little walkthrough and show you guys what we have to work with before we've made a bunch of changes that we you know, can't go back and refilm. So let's do that. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and come along for our journey as we learn how to do a lot of kayaking here in Oklahoma and find some really cool spots to hit with these boats. Okay guys, this is the new kayak trailer that I picked up. I wanna just start right up here and just show you guys how this thing looks in the daylight. Got a two inch ball on here, got a little uh, jack, some nice connectors for the truck. Everything works really well on it. All the lights work and all. Got a hatch right here on top, and we've got a lock on it, so we'll pop it open here in a second. But this is the Ascend 128T with Yak Power. This actually has all the internal hole wiring. That's what these little ports are, like right over there. It's got a speed controller right here for your trolling motor. All of this stuff, there's a little ram ball mount right there for your fish finder, a couple rod holders, another ram ball mount there, some star mounts on the side, paddle holder. It's also got the uh, anchor wizard on it. And of course, big hatch here down inside, got all the, all the wiring in the tubes. There's, um, oh, the other thing up here in the front, you actually have steering on the tip of your pedal. They've got that. And you can see it over here on the other side as well where you you still have your foot brace we've been cleaning it so got some rags on here but got your foot brace here but then you steer with your toes to turn your turn it left and right some scupper plugs he had and then it looks like the transducer actually mounts in the star mount off the side of the boat so you don't have anything going through the hole there a little strap across battery boxes back here in the back three more rod holders right here that's kind of nice around the back end he's got a roller on the trailer where you can get it on easier the anchor wizard chute back here on the stern this is your trolling motor mount that he's got installed you've got your steering here it unclips from here and it actually clips onto each side of the trolling motor so you can steer it you know left and right bunks are pretty well made exactly to fit this little boat it will not fit my Hobie PA down here on the bottom. But we have this on the top. And I built this to go in my truck bed, actually. So I've just got it laying here right now. But I don't know what size pipe I'll actually end up going with. I'm going to throw the Hobie up here later on today and just see how it fits in. I do like the little cradles that you can see right here on the sides. They're adjustable on these tracks. I could also get the Hobie cradles and put on these two bars. If any of you guys have those, let me know what you think. But I know there's been some comments about them being possibly a little bit fragile. Down this side, we've got a very nice rod tube. And this is this is a fairly good size pipe. I know this is going to be across the front end here, but we're, we're 7 inches on the cap. So really nice size pipe. You can fit the whole rod with the reel on it in there if you needed to throw one in there or something. But real, real, real nice setup there. Underneath here... Let's see if we can get under here where you can really see. See the rack system right here on the deal? You've got enough room for eight fishing poles down the center. These are anchor spikes right here, and they're strapped in. There's another paddle slot right there. The other side has a paddle and another anchor spike coming out of it. So you have quite a bit of storage for everything you need to haul on this little tiny trailer. But little, little wheels here little four lugs i went ahead and and hit up the farm store and grabbed two extra spares although there is a spare in the front end of the trailer as well but these bunks go right on up and the kayak is right up inside here we went ahead and took all the stickers off of it it's registered in kansas so we're going to have to do everything for oklahoma now but the boat's got <clears throat> we'll duck up under here you can see he's got navigation lights on the bow and there is also an anchor light for the stern that plugs into the power of the star system but just a slick little trailer i tell you what once we get that hobie on top though i believe the hobie length is going to go all the way out 
all the way out in here but we'll see we may hang it just a little bit off the off the stern end but either way i think it's going to work out really well let's pop these this hatch open i'll show you what we got in there got a manual bilge pump here straps extra paracord ratchet straps all kinds of stuff i guess toys for your kiddos squirt guns everything else but this also came with the fish finder here and it's got a Lowrance on a ball mount right here and i'm not sure what model this is but we haven't even gotten this out to really play with it yet an elite 7 hdi so we need to get in here and clean this up too looks like we've never it's never had the screen or anything cleaned up on it so we're gonna get in there and clean that up i bet that's barely even been used really but we'll see that's pretty well what this came with and this is what we're going to be getting all rigged out to get our hobie pa on top with this ascend here on the bottom should be really nice for the kiddos to have an extra kayak as well as man if you really want to get out and troll and and pull it with the uh, pull some poles you can sure do that with that with that powered kayak but anyway hope you all enjoy seeing that let me let me know what kind of setups you guys have and what do y'all think of that? You think that'll work out all right for us? I think we're going to run it over to Arkansas next month and really hit some lakes. But try to get this rack finished up for the PA and go ahead and get it rolling to the lake this week, hopefully. All right, guys. Well, that is the trailer right there. So let me know what you guys think down there. We're going to get this thing on the water and see how it holds up. Thank y'all for being here. Hit that like and subscribe button down there if you haven't already. Come along with us. We're learning how to do all this stuff together. See you guys on the next video.